Should you get a GPU that has two fans or three fans? Here's a few things you should know so you don't waste your money. First things first, this is not a graphics card, this is. And when we talk about fans, two or three, we're talking about the cooler that goes on top of it. Some people might not know this, we have to be inclusive. <laughs> so the most obvious answer is more fans is more better. It can mean a bigger heatsink, so better cooling. Not always, because sometimes it means a longer heatsink, but a thinner one, so it evens out, depending on the models. But uh, find the reviews for the model you're interested in, and if you can, try to find people who used it on Reddit or something. The good thing is nowadays, if a GPU exists in two fans, it's perfectly fine to just get that, because I think they keep two fans coolers to GPUs that are 250 watts or less. I could be wrong. I had the 4070 Super that I now gave to a friend. It was the Asus Jewel. It was two fans, it ran perfectly fine. It was cool, extremely quiet. You could not hear it, because the 4070 Super is a very efficient, very low power GPU. And that's the case for most of 40 and 50 series. They run very cool because they are efficient with big coolers. Even the two fans coolers like the Asus Jewel are pretty thick. Jewel, 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 Ugh. Jewel. <laughs> If you're going to 5070 Ti or 9070 XT territory or 5080, you can't even find those in two fans, I'm pretty sure, so you're fine. But, like I said, if it exists in two fans, you can just get that. You will be fine. And this gets me to my next point, which is pricing. Do not spend extra money to get a bigger, better cooler on a 5060 Ti or a 5070 when you could spend that extra money to go up a tier. Why would you spend money to get a better 5070? You could put that extra money to get to a 9070 XT or a 5070 Ti, and then you end up with a much much better GPU. For example, the Asus Strix, side note about Asus for those who don't know, the Asus Strix slash Astral is the most expensive model, the most high-end model for Asus. And the Prime slash Jewel is their cheapest models, usually sells at MSRP. Doesn't mean it's trash, it's just the cheapest ones. They want to have the cheapest and most expensive models. They want to choke the market, at least here in Canada and in the US. So the 5070 Strix from Asus is $750. It's the price of the 5070 TI Asus Prime. That's stupid. Don't do that. Don't waste money for a 5070 that is MSI, Asus, whatever, that has a fancier cooler that it doesn't need, okay? And that goes for most GPUs. And then the last thing is, will it fit in your case? Because bigger is... Uh, you know how physics work. So you measure your case, or if you don't have it yet, if you're planning on buying it, go to the official specs page of the case, and you get the GPU clearance, and then you go to the official specs page of the GPU you want to buy, and you get the length. Do not get your specs information from store pages even if you trust the store they almost always have it wrong don't do that just go to the official specs pages so i think i gave you everything right did we cover everything good luck